Hello and welcome to Think About It, where today we have two primary goals. The first is to get you to think about it. The second is to point out the incredible irony, hypocrisy, and clear solution to the entire matter surrounding Sandra Fluke, Rush Limbaugh, and the entire debacle that has been distracting us from the real issues facing America. First of all, the irony. Does anybody else find the humor in a group of people who constantly demand that the government stay out of their womb, it's my body, while simultaneously demanding that the government pay for their birth control and abortions. I kind of think that's uh, a little bit strange, ironic as it were, because these days when the left, the democratic world, wants to gin up an issue to distract you from the real issues, they generally go to the uh, world of women's rights. I, however, seem to think that Newt Gingrich had a pretty good handle on this on Meet the Press Sunday. I'm not endorsing Newt necessarily, but this answer is awfully hard to beat. Take a look. We'll continue the conversation on the other side. Damage is this done? You know, David, I am astonished at the desperation of the elite media to avoid rising gas prices, to avoid the president's apology to religious fanatics in Afghanistan, to avoid a trillion dollar deficit, to avoid the longest period of unemployment since the Great Depression, and to suddenly decide that Rush Limbaugh is the great national crisis of this week. Uh, there's no debate about access to contraception. There is a debate, which Cardinal George of uh, Chicago has pointed out, is a war against the Catholic Church. You do have this weird situation where President Obama apologizes to Islamic extremists while waging war against the Catholic Church. That's the language, by the way, of the Catholic bishops. Uh, you have an issue here of whether the government can coerce the Catholic Church, not just into a contraception, but into sterilization and abortion, something I don't find any reporter wants to talk about. Uh, you have a president who voted for infanticide as a, sa as a state senator, who represents the most extreme pro-abortion position in America. So if you want to have a dialogue about this, David, let's set the record straight. Barack Obama, as a state senator, voted to allow doctors to kill babies if they survived the abortion. Barack Obama, as president, in the most radical anti-religious move made by, by any president, is trying to coerce the Catholic Church at a time when he's been told by the bishops well, Mr. they would have to give up every single hospital. Wait a second, let me finish. They would have, this is what they say. They would have to give up every single hospital. They would have to give up every single religion, every single university and college associated with the church because he is asking them to violate their religious beliefs. Now, you want, if you want to debate over whether or not the President of the United States should be able to impose his views on a religious institution, right, and whether America is now a secular country, let's have that debate. Hey, can somebody grab David Gregory a clean pair of shorts, send it off to NBC? Good deal. <laughs> well done, Newt. Man, I'd love to see that guy in a debate with the president. I don't know if he's going to be the nominee. Not really sure I want him to be, but man, is he good in debates. Folks, do you understand the hypocrisy of the left? They, I don't have time to get into it. This would be a two-hour long video if we launched into that. Let me then move to the solution. The solution for this entire Sandra Fluke Flake Rush Limbaugh debacle is very simple. There are only two steps, actually three steps, to it. Number one. I would like to invite Democrats, or actually anybody, to specify the section of the Constitution that cites birth control as a basic right that requires funding from those who even object to it. Do you want to pay for somebody else's sexual proclivities? If so, just point that out in the Constitution. That's solution one. Solution two is simple. Everybody involved in the GOP needs to refuse to bite the bait. Stop falling for the ridiculous trap that this is actually all about women's rights. and all. It's not. It's about distracting from the abject failure of President Barack Hussein Obama. When was the last time you saw the general media focus on his shortcomings? Never would be the answer you're looking for. Instead, we are faced with distraction after distraction after distraction. If you stop falling for it, it'll stop working. And our third solution is simple. Just think about it. 